Hello everybody here on YouTube and welcome. We're drafting the Pro Tour cube today. Uh, it's a cube where all the cards have been in Pro Tour winning deck lists, basically. Yo, who dat? Simeg with a tier one sub. Thank you so much, Simeg. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you. Uh, what are we taking, though? We could take Scalding Tarn as, like, a pretty safe pick at the beginning because it just doesn't commit us to anything. Also, blue-red could be pretty good. Um, we're also kind of partial to drafting Walkers because I think they're probably pretty good in this cube. I don't think Storm's a thing in this cube, Will. Giant Hawk? There is a Giant Hawk at the bottom. Uh, we could take Arrow... Oh, we could also take Arrogant Worm and try to go for, like, a discard strategy. But let's just take Scalding Tarn. I think we can't go wrong with that pick. Don't think we're in the Platinum Angel life. Wow. Wild Mongrel would have been a great pick after we took Arrogant Worm, but we are no longer that life. <laughs> Professional analysis by LSV. Yeah, I suspect Tarn is great. Um, what do we take as a follow-up? I guess Corsair Crufix is like a pretty s safe pick. We could take... None of the other cards are like that exciting. Burdened? Oh, Pyroclasm could be good. It does seem like there's a lot of small creatures in this cube, aren't there? Midnight Train with the eight months. Thank you, Midnight. Welcome back. Thanks for the good times, Goons. Thank you for the good times. Yeah, what are we taking, fam? Are we taking Read the Bones? Yeah, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a moroi. I honestly don't know. Let's just take Read the Bones. I think that card's pretty good. Ooh, I like Falcon the Aristocrat a lot. Uh, we could try to draft some sort of, like, Falcon the Aristocrat deck. That card is so hard to deal with. If we had taken Blood Crypt, that Tarn would be so good. You said... <laughs> do it, live your best life. I do love Falcon the Aristocrat. I'm a huge fan. Oh, there's Strip Mine in this pack, too. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Garib likes Garrick. I'm not surprised. Joko Pups is gas with Planeswalkers. Look, look. I love me a Falcon Rather Aristocrat. I'm not going to pass it. Let's just try to see if we can draft a deck that is that is cool with Falcon Rather Aristocrat. Like, I actually think Eldrazi Obligator is kind of sweet. Because we can take their creature and humph it. Bam. We do have to make sure we can cast uh, Windings. Because we're not going to have any cards that can that can cast the windings for Obliterator. But it could be good if we get there. Yeah, I don't know, Ark. That's my question, too. But we're new to the cube, right? Alternatively, we could take Murderous Cut. It's just a good card. Yeah, Steel and Sack M19 style. You, got, you know it. You know it. Good to know the languages in the cube. Yeah, I, I also didn't know that. Um... Maybe the Eldrazi Obligator will wheel because it's not that good. So let's take Murderous Cut and then hope to wheel the Obligator. Badlands is excellent. I am suspicious of all these Eldrazi in the cube. They can't... Like, how do you even cast them? Yo, Tops! Top Tops! Welcome on in, how are you? It's good to see you. How's stream going? I saw you had Eric on your stream the other day. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Badlands is good lands. Yeah, let's take the Badlands. Lava Claw Reaches is also good lands. I like Vendetta. Vendetta is really good. Also, Necrotal is pretty good. Yeah. But I think we should take Vendetta. Just destroy target non black creature. It can't be regenerated. You lose life equal to the creature's toughness. So if we ever kill anything big, it's kind of a problem. But Yeah, how are you liking the cube so far, Tups? I've only drafted it twice. So I'm still kind of... The jury is out. Urza's Rage. I've never seen this card. Kicker for 9? 10 damage to that permanent player and the damage can be prevented. And, wow. Or player. That's really cool. I'm gonna take Vendetta. I think it's slightly better than Necrotal, but I'm, I might just be wrong. Um, Singer Vampire can't possibly be good. I don't buy that. I think Endless One is probably okay. He said, you've drafted it 8 times. I think it's great. A lot of interesting games so far. That's cool. So I've only drafted it twice. I think the first one was like a... What was it? It was like a green-blue ramp-ish deck. It was actually not bad. I think we 2-1 with it. And then we just drafted a pretty bad one. It was like a mono-blue devotion deck. And it was... Vampire's okay, actually, in this cube, according to the designer. Really? Maybe we try the vampire. I used to love this card. I, I 
played it a lot when I was new to Magix. I can give it a shot. Uh, I don't mind Chainer's Edict too much. Have we seen a lot of like one ones that would wreck that plan? I feel like we've seen a lot of real creatures. Like obviously here we can see Pia would be pretty good against Chainer's Edict. We could alternatively just take the Pia. Maybe that's just better than Chainer's Edict. It's a fine three drop. Pia makes two creatures for aristocrats. It's true. Also, it makes a human for aristocrats. Mm. I like how you're thinking, chat. Let's take the Pia. So yeah, we're trying to draft some sort of aristocrats deck. Holly says, what are your thoughts on the chances of Masterpieces appearing in Guilds of Ragnarok in October? Uh, like, do I think they're going to happen or what? Because I don't think they're... I, I, I think they said that they're trying to do that less, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ravnica's like a pretty flashy set that they want to have those for. I don't care for any of these cards. I think they're all bad. I'm going to take Bloodbraid, uh, even though we're not likely to play it. Pyroclasm seems kind of sweet. Yo, Regili! Welcome back. How are you? Jun them out. Uh, Winds of Teeth does not tutor Badlands. This does get Badlands, so that's nice. I think we just take Pyroclasm and it's a fine card. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and lands that can't be regenerated. Huh. We could take that. You've had a disappointing last 20 minutes? I don't like that, Regili. Ooh, I'll draw the Obligator. We did it. I think that's better than Shrapnel Blast, even though I don't know how we're ever casting this. Ragdos Guild Mage. Uh, discard a card target you gets minus two, minus two until no turn to create a 2 1 red goblin creature token with haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. All right. Yeah, I like where we're going. We, I don't think we're gonna play the Juggle Pups. Oh, I like that. Also, this is a nice combo with Falkrath. I also think of Nixilis is probably pretty good. Oh, damn. Siege Gang Commanders is really, really good. Blightning would be a nice wheel. Circular Logic is our last card. I like where this deck is going, and I think we have a lot of cool cards to pick out of this pack. Think. Take the pack. I think I'm going to take Liliana. I think Liliana is very good. I've been impressed with walkers in this cube so far. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to reserve Liliana. I'm going to get some to drink. All right, let's chat on. Lily, Lily, Ob. Lily. Lily seems like the pack. All right, yeah. We've seen a lot of X ones. That's another reason I really want to take it. Nightscape Familiar works with our um, red creatures. Or, like, red spells in general. Yeah, Nightscape is kind of interesting, right? It works with some of the stuff that we have going. Oh, interesting. Caves of Quelos is a duel for our... So, I don't think the Eldrazi Obligator is that big a deal, so... I mean, I love Halps. Wait, what's Halps? Is it... Yeah, today's Cube Deck Strong Smash. We're just gonna be cubing today. What's a Halps? Oh, Jokel Halps. This. <laughs> I was so confused because I didn't see it up there. I think I'm going to take Nightscape Familiar. I think this card's good for what we're doing. Uh, Painful Truths. Actually, Chaney Boy. I just don't like the mana. The mana for Chaney Boy is really bad. We have a second Crater. We could take Crater Hellion and then we have Halps and then we have... I like Destroy All Your Shit deck. But if we take Arid Mesa, that just gets Badlands and also gets Red Source. You said Ravine, Arid Mesa, Mesa, Arid Mesa, Jund. Yeah, I mean, if we Jund, we would play Blood Braid. And if we get a green thing, uh, some green duels, maybe we wield a Ravine. I do want to take the Mesa there, I think. Uh, Covetous Dragon looks awful. It probably was good back in the day, but it just looks so terrible now. When you control no artifacts, sacrifice Covetous Dragon. 5 mana 6 5. It's like a good rate, but it's not even. I don't know. Has it really top? I'm suspicious of the Master Core because it was so broken back in the day. I will say that they, I do feel like there's a lot of X ones in this cube. So we could take. What is this? Shard Phoenix. 5 mana 2 2 flying. Sacrifice it. It deals 2 damage to each creature without flying. And then you return it from your grave into your hand. Activate its ability only during your upkeep. Maybe we do just take the Master Core. Yeah, let's try the Master Core. Yo, Stunlock, how are you? Welcome. Good to see you. How you doing? Up, it's stuck. 
Uh, what is Blazing Specter? Flying Haste, whenever Blazing Specter deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Ooh, I'm interested in that. Uh, Evolving Wilds. I'm in a game right now. Are you playing the same cube? As we know from Pro Tour, back in the days, you didn't need artifacts for Covetous Dragon. Oh, really? How do you do it? Do you have, like, artifact lands? If you have artifact lands, that works. Like, Dark Seal Citadels of the World or whatever. <gasps> We've lost Stunlock to WoW. All right. Good beats. <laughs> we had a good run, Stunlock. I think I'm going to take the Blazing Specter. She's so badass. Look at her. She's riding this thing, and she's like, discard your card. Yeah, let's just take that. Uh, we're not playing this Bloodbraid at the moment. Kind of like Shriek Ma. Shriek Ma's not too shabby. We could take nothing else, just Shriek Ma. Spire of Industry is kind of interesting. Plow Under is very sweet. Mm, for when you want to plow your opponents. We plowed our opponents real good yesterday. Ma with Lily. Ma with Lily is nice. Yes. This taps for windings, and it also taps for colors that we have, like, a Massacre out. But I, I think we should just Shriek Ma, honestly. <laughs> what, Punishing Fire? How could we ever get it back? Do we have any way to get it back? Nope, 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 nope. But if we get Grove of the Burn Willows. Nope, 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 nope. Mesa does get Temple Garden. We just don't have anything in white. So, oh. I don't think I care about Bloodbraid Elf too much. I think it's really sweet if we get uh, Grove later. So, I'm just going to take Punishing Fire, and we'll see if maybe we get Grove. Because I think that would be... Oh, Spike Feeder is a way to trigger that. Reality Smasher, huh? Hardyling Outburst is a little cool with Falker of the Aristocrat because it just, it's not humans, but it does give you, like, fodder to eat. What does this do? Destroy target artifacts with convertible cost X. It can be regenerated. Detonate deals X damage to artifacts controller. That's just a sideboard card. You said, seems I just entered at the right time plowing. Yes, it is a plowing stream again. Though we don't have it in our deck, Raceland, so... I think I'm just gonna take Outburst, move on with my life. It's fine. Um, oh, we wheeled the Siege Gang. Though... There was something else we wanted to wheel more than the Siege Gang. What did they take? Because this pack was so good for us. No, Wujo! It was Phoenix. I wanted the Phoenix. Yeah, or, or of Nixilis. But that makes sense that they all got taken. All right, let's take Siege Gang. I mean, Goblin Welder could do something cool. It's not going to be in our deck at the moment. It's better than Jackal Pup, so let's put him here for now. Painful Truths is okay. We have Read the Bones. I think I'm more likely to play... Wait, no, am I more likely to play two types of Painful Truths kinds of effects? No way. I think I'd rather board in Hellion against someone than... I'm not going to play both. Okay, we got the Phoenix. Hooked on Phonix. No respect for the Ravager. Brave the Elements. Oh, man, I remember that card. That card was a beating back in the day. You just brave the Elements your opponent, like, right when they were going to Wrath, and you're like, gotcha. Gotcha good. I like our deck so far. I don't think we're playing... I don't know that we're playing the Jokalypse. Because I feel like we have a lot... Like, we're a creature-based deck. We're not, like, as much of a control deck. It works well with Liliana, and if we had gotten, like... Never seen this card in my life. X, red, red, multi-kicker for one. Choose any target, then choose another target for each time the spell was kicked. Comet Storm deals X damage to each of them. That card is interesting. I kind of want it, I think. It's that or Fatal Push. I feel like Fatal Push is probably not too bad. Ink Eyes? I don't think Ink Eyes is that good. I played it with it in the like, pre-con deck. Yeah, what deck was Comet Storm? Oh, but two minutes blast? Let me look at this. Cascade, then it deals four damage to target creature. Oh, man, this is really good in our deck. Yeah, I kind of want to take this. Uh, bottom card is in Elves of Deep Shadow. 
Blast into BBE into Liliana. <laughs> I think we can get the Bituminous Blast to wheel. Or, I don't know. I don't know how good Comet Storm is, is my problem. I think taking Bituminous Blast is acceptable, but I, I maybe yeah, that's just like, I've never played with the other card, so maybe it's just I'm being crazy. We can take Smoldering Marsh here or an Abrade or a Terminate. Terminate is actually kind of nice. Oh, there's a Grim Monolith, huh? Grim Monolith is good. It is just like, you if you just treat it as two mana, get three, and then you never untap it, not really. Yeah. And we'll wheel, like, one of the removal spells. We'll, we'll wheel either, like, the Terminate or Smoldering Marsh. I don't I don't think there's another red black drafter. There's a black drafter and there's a red drafter, but I don't necessarily know there's, like, a black red drafter. Comet Storm was in PV Zendikar block construct the deck. There was limited top eight. Gotcha. Yeah, I have a hard time evaluating the card just because it's... Mmm. Stoke the Flames is really nice. We have the Hordling Outburst Stoke the Flames combo. That's not too shabby. We have a lot of things that make little creatures too. Processor? I'm not sure how good the processor is. I haven't played it yet. I think I like that better than Terror. Because this is we have another one that. What is our other like yeah, Shriek Maw is basically. Right now it looks like Singular Vampire is not gonna actually be in the deck. <laughs> this card's silly. I kinda like the Wild Slash. Are we really playing Jokalops? No, I don't think so. We're we're like too much of a we have our own creatures plan to be that right now. We need like three more playables, four more playables. Sudden death. Split second. Target check gets minus four, minus four until. Oh, it's nice that it has split second. You just make sure you you know you kill it dead. I don't think it's dark ritual, uh, Garen Joder. I think uh, dark ritual is probably pretty good, but not in this deck. I don't think. I think I'm gonna take sudden death. I accept. Oh, hold your horses. Can we make this work? We have some stuff that goes to the yard already, like... Shriek Maw goes to the yard pretty naturally. And Masticor kind of, like, can manage to get to the yard pretty easily. Oh, damn it. Grove is here. Oh, damn it. Oh! I think we should take Grove because we have the Punishing Fire and I think that's really good. I I think there's a chance we can wheel the Grove. There's no chance we ever wheel Recurring Nightmare. So let's take Recurring Nightmare and then just like pray to the Magic Gods because I think we can wheel it. I really think we can. Ooh, Earthquake is kind of nice. This is weird because we're getting all these like good black and red control cards. Maybe we just want this figure. Yeah, that figure. I think it's just this figure. This figure. Because, look, we already have the Pyroclasm, which I don't even know we're going to play. Like, I'd rather have targeted removal than mass removal, because most of our creatures die to stuff like Earthquake. Yeah, let's just take this figure. I do like Bogard and Hellkite. I don't think it's for this deck, though. <laughs> what does this do? Sacrifice an artifact. Bosh, Iron Golem deals damage equal to sacrifice artifacts. Converted mana cost to any target. Uh, I'm not into that life. I think we're taking the Hellkite. I'm probably not playing it. Oh, Wildfire? That's interesting. Fire Slinger deals one damage to any target and one damage to you. Ooh. That card's kind of interesting. I'm kind of into this card. Can team up with some other things to take down big things. Soul Scar looks good in our deck. Maybe it wheels. Yeah, uh, we saw it go by recently, right? I'm going to take this guy. Look, Comet Storm came back around. Now I think I take Comet Storm. I don't know if it's that much, how much better it is than Fatal Push in this cube. It's, since we haven't played it enough, it's hard to know. You guys think it's Push? Push. Is it Bogarden or Bogarden? Let me see. I think it's Bogarden. That's how I would say that. I'm going to take Fatal Push. Ooh! Bam, we wield a bunch of things from this pack. That's awesome. We're not playing the Metal Worker, but... 
We can take either a braid or smoldering marsh. I think taking smoldering marsh and just making sure our mana is pretty good. Because because between this, Arid Maze of Badlands, and Scalding Tarn, we have like a pretty good mana base. What's our... And then we are cutting these anyway. Yeah. Yeah, let's take that. Uh, we're not taking anything out of this pack. Mortar pod's not terrible. We have a lot of little creatures too. I think it's better than Arc Slogger. You said a braid is so good though, I'm constantly impressed with it. I don't know how good it is in this cube, because Time Twister, I was playing the like sex monkeys, the ones that kill an, an artifact. And um Oh my gosh, we did it! We got there, fam. That's amazing. That was so good. Yeah, that was groovy. Yeah, where's our... Utkabi orangutans. I'm never gonna learn the name for that. I know they're just the sex monkeys. Uh, let me move all this real quick. This is 25. Take out the mortar pot. I don't think I want that. Yeah, Kicker, I'm waiting to get a new chair, actually. <laughs> Mog fanatic without damage on the stack. Yeah, he's really not that impressive, huh? I like that Fire Slinger and Punishing Fire team up to take down a 3-drop. Oh, it is a stack outlet for Recurring Nightmare, huh? Isn't it? So, maybe we take out Pyroclasm, because, like, what is this really doing? And then Obligator, we really didn't get there on a mana to activate it, so what is this doing anyway? And then we bring back Mortar Pod. And then we add Smoldering Marsh, Scalding Tarn, Grove, Badlands, Arid Mesa. What do you guys think? I think the Fiddle Push is okay strong. We'll, we'll see. I don't, we also have a lot of ways to, we have a lot of fetches, which makes the push a little bit better. We also have mortar pod to sack something and then if it'll push them, get them. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're right. We, Ooh, Luna, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. Hey, you're back. Welcome back. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Hellkite with Recurring Nightmare is great. We don't have a discard outlet is the problem. No way to do it. No way, Jose. Is this Legacy Cube? No, it's called... Um, someone sounds like they're having a bad time out there. It's called the Protor Cube. Lily Mills, but that's like the only way. I, I would feel uncomfortable playing an... A drop when I feel like we're not really like an A drop sort of deck. I don't like Frenzied Goblin too much. I think that's just medium. Oh, Ma oh, you're right. Masticore does discard, doesn't it? Mm. Wait, Guildmage discards too? I will admit that I don't know what this card does. Discarded card target gets minus two, minus two tons. Okay, you guys sold me. Garden Hellkite in. And maybe, like, what's our least impactful card? Either this or, like, the Nightscape Familiar, maybe? Maybe the Nightscape's out. Attack yourself with Blazing Spectre. Don't hit yourself. Vendetta? Nah, I like Vendetta. Okay, I like I like what we have going on. We'll try to bring back a Bogarden Hellcat at some point. Six and six is what it suggests. Uh, that'll put us at six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11 red sources, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 black sources. Looks perfect. This is not the first time I've seen you resist the Hellkite's charm. That's true. Last time Louise was like trying to talk me into Hellkite, and I was like, that's a stupid idea. And then we played it, and it was amazing. <laughs> what is the format? Yeah, this is a cube. It is, um, what's it called? The Pro Tour Cube. I keep forgetting for whatever reason. And it's been fun so far. I like it. I don't think I'm going to do the Gritty Splash off of BB off of Grove. If I had... Look, if I had a stomping ground, I would snap it off. Because we'd have Arid Mesa, Grove of the Burn Willows, Scalding Tarn, and then the It itself, and we'd have four free sources. But right now, as it stands, we have one free source, and... I'm not about that life. I do like this deck list. Hold on. Before we go into the fray, let me snipping tool this bad boy. Bam. 
You said, now playing Humph makes me a little sad because you're right, it doesn't quite fit this deck. Yeah, it, we're just, I think, have a lot of small creatures. Like, we're not really like a black-red control deck, which sometimes, we had a lot, we saw some cards that could have let us be that way, but we're more of like a, we're more of like a red-white aggro deck-ish with some like reanimator themes. Hollow One has arrived. Oh, wow. This is cool. Aquel que está vacío. Yeah, that, that, that does literally translate to hollow one, but that's a, so long of a translation. Uh, ooh, thank you, Luna. I appreciate that. I'm going to keep this. Thanks. Uh, Luis's Pro Tour was good. It was good. Um... They started off kind of not great, and then they went, like, undefeated on the second day. And they didn't... They weren't close to top baiting because they started out, like, 3 or something, but then they just, like, won out. Um, man, I really wanted to disfigure something there. That would have been nice. Yeah, I don't want to draw a lot more cards, so I think I'm just going to play the Scalding Time. So, in the end, they, like, won enough matches that they ended up winning a bunch of money. Like, there was a lot of money on the line for that specific Pro Tour. So it was all good. Thanks for asking. Survival of the fittest, huh? Yeah, it translates to literally it that that which is hollow. I'll just get smoldering marsh, I guess. Ooh. Let me get a little thingity. All right. We also have a cut for if they survival of the fittest for something pretty scary. It was good. Yeah, so it's funny, like, because he was thinking about okie dokie. We don't have instants in the yard. Let me crack this real quick. I really don't want to draw more lands, so I think cracking is fine. Let's get bad lands. Ooh, Blazing Spectre is not bad. It does feed the Tarmogoyf, but I think that's fine. If I, let me just read this real quick so I know what it does. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, I have sacrifice this creature, this creature deals one damage to any target. Okay. Let us go, swing. Yeah, Time Twister. Depends on what they, because we're they're gonna have to discard some stuff over here, but there are ways that we can use Murderous Cut to to mess up the Tarmogov. See, they're discarding just land. Yo, Luna, welcome. I assume that you were Luna also, but now you have 300 at the end of your name. You love Blast? Yeah, it looks really sweet. It's also an instant. That's a cool card. Stoneforge Mystic enters a revealed card zone. Oh god. This, this is a pretty mid-rangey cube. I agree with that. Okay, Kurama's Reach getting another land. I mean, this Tarmogo is not that scary, so... We're actually just attacking their hand, which I like. What, Beardy? Ooh, Mistress Factory. Okay. I like Cascade. Cascade is a fun mechanic. It always feels like it could be anything. <laughs> the guy who named himself after Pernicious D likes mid-range? <laughs> question, question, question. Oh, hello. That is very cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the thing. Everyone's shocked, Pernicious. Everyone's just... Shocked. All right, we're done f 6 because we have a Falkrath in play. So, you guys want to hear a funny story? Oh, thank you so much, Luna. I appreciate the tip. Appreciate that. Yeah, funny story. So, they have a lot of land. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, The first time I ever played Magic Online, ever, ever, I was playing a Jund aggro deck. I sacked my Falcon of the Aristocrat to its own trigger, and I never played Magic Online for like two years. I was like so tilted. I was like, this is so stupid. Like, you shouldn't be able to do this. It shouldn't be that easy for you to sack your creature to... Oh boy. This is a problem. Does it give it minus one, minus one until end of turn? It does. 
It was like two years worth of tilt. It really was. Yeah, so I'm gonna just block and sack, and then they, they won't get counters. Because it needs to deal combat damage, right? Combat damage. It won't. So let's go to Germ. You block. Nice. Saccharinos. Just target you, I guess. And then next turn we can cut this thing. Actually, is there an instant in the yard? There is... Not. Uh, we almost could kill this with Bituminous Blast. Oh well. Feels bad. Go ahead and play Swamp. Attack with both. And just hold up Cut to kill this thing. Yeah. Okay, they're discarding their second to last card. Let's see. Lightning Greaves, they're down to nothing. So we'll just cut something on their turn. We have plenty of removal, so like, Umizawa's Jitsa is not actually that good against us because we ha we can kill it in response to equip or before it does combat damage or whatever. Okay, let's cut you. One, two, three, four, five. And they're probably gonna go equip the Stoneforge Mystic, and if that's the case, I might just disfig. Okay, well, there, or we could just end the game right there because we were crushing them. <laughs> hey, Kiluna. How is the full time streaming going? It's good. Um, I really like it. I've been doing it for. How is the full time streaming going? How long have I been full time streaming for now? Maybe like a year or two? I'm trying to remember when I went full time. Must be like two years now, I think. And I don't know, I really like it. I get to play Magic all the time. I love playing Magic. We've also been doing a couple other things on like Tuesdays we've been playing different. Um, yeah, we can keep this. Yo, Luna 300, welcome on in. Grow Fire Comp was really nice, Shadow Titan. Did you see that? Yeah, I think this is a keep DC, even though it's not like the best. Um, uh, yeah, and so Tuesdays we've been doing this new thing called Test of Tuesday, where we uh, test different games, and um, I get keys from, like, game developers to, to try stuff out. So we actually have, like, two of the games for next Tuesday lined up. We're gonna be testing Not Tonight and Demonicle, um, and we got some keys from the developers for both of those. I really need to draw a Swamp. FTL Tuesday. So currently I have Not Tonight and Demonical lined up. I don't have the third game lined up. <laughs> oh, Shadow Titan. Yeah, we actually got there. We had to wheel the Grove of the Burn Willows. We, we had to sweat it. Tarmogoyf. Okay. Uh, now we are have a problem. So... Yeah, we could stoke the goif. They're down to one card. Oh. No, I know you're not new, Luna, but you show up as Luna 300. You show up as in new in the I chat, so. Thank you, I appreciate that though. Um, it just shows up as new because I think it's like that account has never been here in the stream. I have not played WoW. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna get Badlands. I kinda wanna just do it now. Because I don't know what they could do next turn. Like, I kinda wanna get them when they go to equip, but what if they have. I'm, a, I'm probably playing scared. I should just do it after they go equip the, the Tarmogoyf. But the Tarmogoyf can change sizes depending on what they do too. I don't know. No, let's just kill it. You can call me chicken shit, but I think we're supposed to do this. We're like right now. What is this? A chroma's vengeance, but it was cycled. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Wow, that's something. Mm. I'm gonna take Lily down, actually. 
Because I want to get this recurring nightmare going if we can. And I might hit Bogard and Hellkite. I got a Blazing Spectre back. Yeah, I can return that. That's fine. How long until we get a Destroyal Planeswalkers? That's right, that doesn't exist, huh? Oh yeah, that cycling would have gotten us good, huh? I think I'm gonna use this. I think we're ahead on board, so I'm gonna use this to target them even if I take some damage. Ch chicken shit? Yeah, it was chicken shit. Uh, this is nice, because we get to... There you go, let's tick up. There's like nothing to tick up. Let's go Blazing Spectre. This gets their last card. I don't even need to attack with this, just with this. In case they have some sort of flash creature. I did not get the braid. Um, we took a uh, dual land over it. They had a forest was their last card. Sure. Yo, the worst B Lang. Welcome back, B. How are you doing? Thank you again for the eight months. I know you have a much longer sub. I appreciate you. How's life? How's stuffs? Well, Jitte on a defender a creature doesn't really do a whole lot. Hmm. I want to get Grove. I'm going to keep ticking up. I don't see a reason to not tick up. Uh, let's play Mountain. Attack with just Blazing Spectre. You said it was nice seeing you. Hasta pronto, Gabi. Gusto conocerte con algo. It was very nice seeing you too, Vulture Tyrant. Thanks for stopping in. And I hope you have a lovely rest of today. Hope to see you soon. Let's play some Pia's. So now we have both Punishing Fire and Sudden Death if something comes up. Because, like, there's no benefit to having the Jitte here for now. All right. Yeah, our opponent was off it. Um, You guys, I'll be right back. I need to go use the restroom real quick. Uh, let me put this on here, and I will see you all soon. Ba, ba, da, ba. Ba, ba, da, ba. I like our deck, you guys. How'd we do? Let me know. What do you think? Ow. What do we think of our deck? I think it, I think it's pretty good. I am not unhappy with it. Also, I kind of forgot that I had the sheep down here. Oh, I am from a Latino family, Zorn. Uh, Spanish is my native language. That's probably why the Spanish sounds not too shabby gabby. Yeah, I like our deck. Our deck is good. Look at that bad boy. Look at this bad boy. I might actually post this one. Save as. Hmm. We're going to call this one desktop. We're going to call it bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. There is echo. There shouldn't be echo. I don't think there should be any echo right now. I have it turned off. All right, Garrett. Let's do the thing. Let's dance. Uh, if we get a sack outlet and recurring nightmare, this hand's kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's worth keeping. Because we can play everything. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't hear any echo. There might be echo on your end, Luna. Maybe you have two streams open. That could cause it. That's funny, Lunarail. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, aw, Luna, thank you. You're so sweet. Did you, um, oh, I guess you, you need to, like, link your account. I appreciate that, thank you. I have heard that game is quite good. Haven't played it myself yet, but I have heard good things. All good things to those who wait. Uh, yeah, we should kick it off with this to maybe bolt a bird. Yeah, Stream Gifts is really neat. We started with it today. Um, it has been like very, very cool. Is it cube? Yes, this is, oh man, they can get Jitte with this, can't they? You have it? That's awesome. They do have Jitte. I kind of think I still disfigure this right now. Um, because I'm going to play Fire Slinger next turn, and now we're going to, I was thinking about Sudden Death in turn three, but now we're just going to Lily. So now they have to still play a creature and still play the Jitte. You said Forbidden Island is fun, great with kids too. That's awesome. I, I'm i a huge fan of games. I think I've shown you guys some of my game library. Okay, quick question, chat. What's your favorite board game of all time? Bam. Let's hear it. Uh, I can't exactly do that to that. Clank easy. Clank is very good. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is not Modern Cube. This is... Um, 
what's it called? Oh my gosh, hold on. We have too many suggestions now. Dominion, Dominion, Gloomhaven. I have not... I feel like for games like Gloomhaven, I'd rather just, like, play D&D, you know? Settlers, Power Grid. I've heard good things about that game. Ascension counts, totally. It's a deck builder. Theron is a big problem. Does D&D count? Yeah, I think so. Is Mayonnaise a board game? <laughs> what do we do, though? We are in trouble. We can play Lily, but... Like, we can just basically block Thren for one turn. And then it's going to take it two turns to kill Lily. I think that's actually fine. So let's play Lily. Forbidden Desert. Is that the, from the same company as Forbidden Island? So it sounds very similar. Yeah, so we're just going to do that. We'll block this turn. <laughs> That'd be so sick, Molly. Mm. Betrayal at the House on the Hill is really fun. I'll show you guys a picture of my game collection. Uh, but yeah, I have a couple of things on the stream gifts that are board games that, I'm, that I've been interested in for a while. I'm really happy this doesn't have trample. Okay. No, 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 cancel. What are you doing? Let's go to blocks. You are blocking. You're also dealing us both one. Oh yeah, that's easily how you kill your own creature. It's exactly that way. Voice of Resurgence, huh? And... Pfft. Well then. Ah, uh, we're losing this game very badly. I'm not happy. <sighs> yeah, so I think... I think our Lily's just gonna die. We can... Tick up to give this guy... Minus two, minus one. And then play Spectre. Yo, BK! You can get gifts now, though! You said it's it's a second version and it's better if you ask a kid like me? Sure! Yeah, I've, I've heard really good things about the game. I do want to try it. Yo, Goku, welcome. Okay, our Lily died a horrible death. What kind of cube is this? This is called um, the PT cube. What are we even doing with our lives here? Sounds good. See you later, Luna. We could just siege gang into Nightmare. The problem is now we're like on the block Rishkar plan. Because we can kill this, we kill this, hit for another two, and then what do we do? And we have to sudden death now because we don't want to give them a token. So I guess we're sudden deathing this thing. Feels bad, man. We can leave this back to trade with a rich car. <sighs> I guess this is our life now. All right. Am I streaming on Friday? Yeah, I stream every weekday. Yo, Caparinos! The end Capper himself. Our deck is sweet, Louise, but we are getting browned. I think this cube is up for a week. Ooh, read the bones. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we can top both. No, Muta Vault, stop it! We take five if we do that, and then we're dead next turn. So I guess we should just block here, so that next turn we can block here and there, and then we only take another two, I suppose. I need them to not follow up with a creature. Surge, yo, thank you! If you're coming in from Surge's stream, welcome on in! Yeah, hello, Hellkite, how are we doing? <laughs> We are going to have to untap this thing, by the way. Yo, welcome everybody coming in from Surge's stream. Welcome. Teeth. This is a teeth raid? Mmm. 
<laughs> Serge, I appreciate it. How's your stream, by the way? Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Gabby. We've never been here before. Uh, we're playing the PT Cube today. It is a new cube that's out in Magic Online. Mm. No, I don't want to flash. It's, uh... I want to just... You said, it's not a teeth raid. <laughs> you can thank James for that. All right, I... I will pass it along. Welcome, welcome in everybody. Hey, radios. Hey, oh, ladies coming in too. Hey, Morpheus. Hey, Ravi. Hey, Treyan. Hey, Judge Kyle. <laughs> hey, Black Barber Sheep. Black Barber Sheep? I think it was that. Um, five damage divided among any number of targets. So... We can't flash it, though, because it's when it, they cast spells on your opponent's turn. The only... Downside. Well, we give him another creature, I guess. Thank you so much, Serge. I really appreciate you sharing your community with me. Welcome in, everybody. If you've never been here before, I really appreciate Serge sending you guys over. Uh, we're losing badly. Yeah, we eat the mutable if we flash it. I guess we should still just cast it right now. This is a monk eye situation. You are not wrong. I think we are supposed to do it right now. Uh, do three and two this way. Ding. And they don't, they just don't have great attacks next turn no matter what. Because um, they can send everyone in and then we'll eat. We chump here. Oh, that's such a problem. There is no monk, guys, just Monica. That is atrocious for us. Because we block here, we chump here, we take two. And then this figure of destiny is going to get swole. Feels bad, man. Hello. Well, we might as well do it now. Because otherwise they get another... Oh, no, they don't have it anymore. We should just do it now, though. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is maybe our best draw. Let's see what we hit. We could hit something pretty dope here. I thought we were supposed to do it at, at, at sorcery speed, but we, we got punished for that. Yeah, that was a bad hit. Okay, well, now we have to chump, thrun. No, we're just dead. We're just dead. All right, digital seahorse, peace. Pyroclasm any good? They had a couple, they went wide, but they went like big also. Yeah, Gabby, deuces. I find it amusing when people like bother to, well, it's true, lady. I find it amusing when people bother to do that. It's like, okay, cool, peace. Hop stops things from regenerating, don't they? Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and lands, they can't be regenerated. This is a weird card. All right, I don't think I have anything I really want to change. It does kill Thrun. Uh, this hand looks pretty good. We should keep this. Uh, Phantom, I don't think we wanted the Clasm. It didn't seem like it did that much. I don't think. And I'm not really gonna trick my that. It's just not worth it. We'll just wait until... To name a Facebook group I'm in, this this isn't an airport. No need to announce your departure. <laughs> oh, that's right. This is black, isn't it? Whoa. Protection from black? <laughs> it gets first strike until end of turn. It gets plus one, plus oh for... So, like, really shitty fire breathing. All right. Well, we have no way to kill that thing. <laughs> Shit breathing. We can't ever kill this thing. I don't think... Punishing fire is the only way we can kill that thing. Does it get plus? Yeah, it doesn't pop the toughness at all. All right, so I guess we're on the read the bones plan. 
Red Dragon kills it. Ah, Stoke the Flames kills it. Liliana the Last Hope does not kill it. But Liliana does look good because it also does kill the germ. Hmm. I kind of want both these cards. Can't attack the Hortling Outburst. True. I want both. Let's go Lily Top. Stoke Top. You can't cascade into lands, can you? When you cast a spell, exile cards from the top of your library, you exile a non-land card that costs less. Okay. They... What does this do? Keldoran Outpost would enter the battlefield, sacrifice a planes instead. If you do, it puts it onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it into the graveyard. And for one and tap, it makes a soldier. You said Liliana Last Hope was good recently for you against White Weenie. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, so unfortunately I cannot run... Am I going to GPLA? I will not be, actually. Not me, not I. Think I'm gonna... No, I did not promise, BK. I definitely did not promise. Think I'm just gonna kill this thing, and then at, after that I'll just, like, Liliana start eating these, basically. I don't really know what they could have here, but... We could alternatively play Aristocrat and just start smashing. My only concern with that is we're playing it without anything else. Nah, let me just kill this stupid knight. Yeah, I feel like we have the tools to just have a pretty good game. Because Liliana is so good against our board. Oh, hello. So we could... Eh, we're sh a little bit short on Cut and Liliana. Yeah, but we didn't see any of this when we played against them. Like, we will probably board it into game three. You know what I mean? So they're planning on making a soldier. Let's make the... Let's kill the germ. And then we'll evoke the Shriek Maw. Kill that thing, and it also gets a creature into our yard, so we can both buy it back. Kill that. With Lily, and if we get Recurring Nightmare going, we can just bring Shriek Mel back. Sure, that's fine. If you kill that one, they can get the power and toughness back by equipping. Isn't the same difference if I'm going to use both? They're both going to be dead, right? Also, they should have equipped the Flare Husk, I think. I guess I don't know what they're planning on doing with their turn. Friend's annoying. So we can kill this. I guess now we were kind of forced to race because of the Thren as much as we hated. Yeah, we have no choice, right? So let's tick up, kill the soldier, play a swamp, play aristocrat. And try to race them. We can cut their next thing too. We can't cut the Thrun, unfortunately. And then Metuminous Blast kills something. Hopefully Cascade into another creature. At least Lily's gonna eat this turn. Cause they're gonna attack Lily for show. Sure. Yep. Well, how am I gonna kill Thrun when they're tapped out? It has Hexproof. Henry, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you so much. Yeah, Welcome back. It's going well. That's good. It is going very well. Thank you for asking. Ooh. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, and we can even regenerate it so we can just battle against each other. Nice. Yeah, it's it's really, really good. We'll just discard whatever. It doesn't really matter. The murderous cut looks kind of bad here. Swing. Yeah, we basically just get to block it forever. Oof. Guess we gotta cut this bad boy. Uh, one, two, I'll leave the Shriek Maw in there. Yeah, we'll take four, it's not a big deal. I wanna leave the Shriek Maw though, because of the recurring nightmare, so. Let's go ahead and kill her, otherwise we just die. That's fine. 
We'll take four, and then we actually get to crack back for another. We might not, though, because Massacre kind of does need to block at some point. Yeah, cut her up! Yeah, that is weird, right? Why would they do that? It's, like, basically free block. They can even regen their, um, their Thren. Um, oh boy. Why aren't I playing on MTG Arena? Because you can't play this format on there. This has way more formats and the things to do, essentially. And the older the formats you want to play, the more Magic Online is better than MTGA. So, I do draw, I do play on MTG every once in a while, just not super duper, uh, uh, sure. I'm not disappointed by Arena. I think it's doing a good job for what it is. We're gonna have to take it. Nightmare does kill TKS. Like, if I don't sack the Mastercore, hold on. Because what I could do here is... Yeah, we'd have to sack the Falkrath, but we can do that after combat. So we can do this, for example. Uh, ping with one them with a Massacre. Attack with Falkrath. Massacre goes to the yard. Or actually, we wouldn't want to ping at all because we want to block and regen. Oh, it can't ping phase. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's just target creature. So I think we just let it die. We hit with Falkrath, Recurring Nightmare switch, and then get Massacre back and Massacre... Or actually, we get back Shriek Maw, and Shriek Maw kills Thought Not Seer. Mm, we're in a really bad spot. I don't like our situation. I think we're supposed to let it die. Uh, no. So it dies. Interesting. Okay. Let's hit with Falkrath. And now we go Recurring Nightmare. Sack, get Shriek Maw, get back, kill this, kill the Thought Knot, see what we get. All right, now we can Recurring and get, I guess the question is like, what do we want in play? Because we can just Recurring again and switch through the, sh the Shriek Maw. Or we could just play out the Spectre. Yeah, yeah, I like that plan. Good plan, good plan. Because we can get back the, the Falkrath, too. So they, we still have to be careful of the Outpost and the Muta Vault. I'm thinking about not jumping. Well, now I kind of have to. I could... Take two... The Muta Vault's a real problem, actually. Yeah, I think so too, Molly. All right, we're going to block the vault. It's because it's going to be a problem next turn if we don't actually trade here. This does suck a little bit. All right, so we go down to two. Oh, boy. Well, it's not like that matters too much. Mortar Pod's really nice because it makes a blocker for this that we don't have to worry about. And there, remember, we got to remember that they're gonna about to have a 1-1. One, one. So, I think we hit with Spectre. They could have two 1-1s. One oh, does it make two? Create a 1-1 one -one where a creature sold your token. Oh, Boots gives it hate, so they're going to have two. Gotcha. I guess that's where Mortar Pod's going to be good. Yeah, and then we have the, we can also sack the Falkenrath. Like, we can sack something from the Mortar Pod. So yeah, all right, so let's hit with Spectre. Recurring Nightmare has been good in this game. It's been very good. Yeah, JVML, that doesn't work. Uh, Recurring Nightmare Sorcery Speed only. Enlightened Tutor? Okay. I can't do anything about that. They got Jitte? Mm, that's a problem. Mortar Pod can fog that for one turn. Okay. 
Okay, let's switch and... Oh. Mastercore is kind of interesting. Because Mastercore can hit stuff for 1-1s. One but then the problem is we won't have something to stack because we're, we're going to play the Mortar Pot. So on our next upkeep, our thing's going to be dead. But right now we get more... Like, we go Mastercore and Mortar Pod. Then they do a dude, we ping it. Yeah, that's true, Louise. All right, so let's just do Falkenrath. Bye-bye. Nice knowing you. Let's play Mortar Pod. Okay. <laughs> no worries, Cap. Yeah, rip our Spectre. He had a good run. Wait, they didn't activate their uh, outpost? Why not? Sure. They used Tutor? Oh, oh, that's right. They only had enough to... Yeah, I, I did too. I thought they just didn't activate it at all. Uh, yeah, anyway. Let's just block, sack, ping them. And then... Next turn we can hit with Falcon out of the equip and ping. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's block. Sack, ping. They're on zero cards. I don't there's like nothing they could have in this spot. I don't feel like we should have won this game. I think my opponent misplayed to <laughs> Lightning Graves on the throne. <laughs> I'm glad they tutored. It would have been much harder game to if they didn't tutor. Swing. You said not only did they ensure that they drew a blank, they did instead of getting free value. Well, to be fair, they didn't know we had a mortar pod, so they didn't know it was exactly gonna be a blank. But then they also like didn't make a creature, which seemed much better in that spot. Yeah, we got there, fam! Crack bear of the four months. Thank you. God, my I tilted that my stream deck's not working. I wish it were. Yes, Clasm does look better after what we saw. Uh, I like that better than what's not good. What looked bad? Shard Phoenix. What does this do? Deals two damage to each creature without flying, and then we can get it back. Huh. Fire Slinger did look good. All of these cards look pretty good. I don't know. I don't want to take anything out. Yo, Spoli! Welcome. Maybe I'll take out Vendetta. Vendetta looks kind of medium. If you suck a creature after it would die and block or attack, does it still deal damage or no? It does not. That's why we did the mortar pod and block thing. I like this hand. I think we can keep it. Yeah, the problem with Obligator is that I can't... Oh, man, we did it. <laughs> the problem with Obligator is that I can't... Um, I can't ever activate the, the, the ability. Because you need colorless mana. Like, it's not just generic. You need colorless, and I just don't have it. Kind of want to stop drawing land, so I'm going to Arid Mesa getting bad lands. Yeah, exactly, Anne. So, I, I don't think it's good in this spot. I think otherwise the Obligator <laughs> would be <laughs> maybe something we want to sideboard. Though against their deck, it seems like Obligator just dies against like a bunch of 1-1s. One they have a lot of ways to make 1-1s. One we are kind of doing it. We get to kill our germ next. Thank you, lady. You so sweet. Thanks, chat. Chat, chat, so polite. Oh, boy. We're getting in there? Alright. Read the bones, huh? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and read the bones. <laughs> Stun luck. Uh, all these are kind of bad. I kind of want neither of them. Mortar pod's like fine, but it's not great. Yo, Lord. Your Lord Moly Pants. How are you doing? Welcome to the live stream. I think I'm gonna bottom both of these. I think they both suck. That's better.
Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. You know what is sweet, chat? Whoa, lotus petal? Okay. What's it called? Bone marrow. Bone marrow is not, not actually like sweet. It's just delicious. Bye. They probably will bring me back some sort of guild magia. Yeah, those were very popular in, back then and they were... Oh God. Do you guys not like bone marrow? Don't tell me, don't crush me. It's so good. It's delicious. That is a way to get a planes. Um, we kind of have every answer. Yeah, we do. So, when, it, this is always a talking about food stream, right, Cor? I think you knew that, though. Kind of don't want to use my scalding turn because I don't want to take more damage. So let's go, yeah, let's just play mountain. We'll have sudden death and fatal push. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm just going to attack then. No, wait, 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 I can't do that. It's not dead yet. <laughs> My plan it involves it being dead, but it's not dead yet, so. Schwing. We did take a lot of time in the last game. That did happen. All right, let's see if we got a fatal push something. Can we fatal push a little something, something? Bone marrow is delicious. Oh, God. I'm not gonna ping us. Oh, that's really good. That is really, really good. We probably hit with Falkenrath one turn. Yeah, we get in. Yeah, exactly, Molly. Good plan. And I think we're pretty sure we're sending. We might chump. We'll see. Yeah, I think so, Gatekeeper. I don't even think we're activating it, honestly. Like, actually, how does the math work? 4, 8, 12. So... But it also puts me at 12. I'm not gonna activate it. What is this? Defender flying at the beginning of your end step, you may gain life equal to the power of target creature you control. And it's four mana? Oh shit, I, I should have sacked it. This is a human. Ugh. Hold on. Turn off auto yields one second. Yeah, we can we can push it real good. I wish we hadn't I don't have a stop on the main phase, unfortunately. I should maybe have that on there. I was never gonna be able to catch it. I should have also sacked this. I didn't realize I was a human. Uh let's just play. Actually, Pia and Ragdos Guildmage is nice this turn. Yeah, P is a delicious human. Damn it, I didn't realize it was a human. Does she be hitting for five? All right, we have an uphill battle. I'm gonna hold on to that scalding tongue because I think I want to use this. We might need to use it at some point. Yeah, we'll have a lot of chumps to make. We we the first chump's just gonna be I think P and we eat it to Falcon Wrath. And then the next one's like Siege Gang's just gonna chump forever. Enlightened Tutor. Are they getting Jitte again? Jitte is very bad against Falcon or the crap. Parallax Wave. Oh, shh. That's a problem. They actually got a good card. Every time they get a bad card. <laughs> Yo, Water Kalil. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Uh... Kind of on the just chump it plan. Because I could do these two, but then they wave us. So I think we just block with a token because that's going to, that doesn't come back from wave anyway. Yeah, I, I, I too want them to wave the real things. Oh yeah, Molly, we are, we are going for it. Go for the throat. Because we just get to block a million things with this. Sure. I think I'm still holding on to these lands. I guess the only reason it's not good is if we get Bogard and Hellkite. Maybe I should just play one. Like this turn we would have been able to throw a 
throw a goblin had we played it um, last turn. By the way, we need housing advice for Denver Snake House. Oh my gosh, I, I wish I could give you better advice. I'm like so new to the city, I think my advice is not going to be great. Pro my best guess is like a... Like a... Airbnb, probably. They're not attacking? I'm taking two. That was a chicken shit attack. <laughs> oh, that looks bad, man. I guess I'm just passing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're at one minute forty. I'm I'm done reading the chat. <laughs> no, we actually have to try to win. I we can make a chumper with just four mana. Like, and the goblins, if they ever target them. I'm gonna... No, actually, they can take that. That's fine. I was thinking about sacking it, but we'll just get it back. Their, like, wave is running out of time. I don't know why they took that away. When we get it back, we can just throw all the goblins. Who knows? They could have done it for any reason. Sure, we're never playing a land again. They have five, and we have six. Sure. I should take the main face stop. You get this until the beginning of the next end step, so we should be getting it. Hello. Okay, well, when something dies now, we can probably send it in to die. I'm just gonna wait until we get Parallax Wave back. You said kill that Exalted Angel? Well, how did you guys want to kill that? Oh, with, uh, Ragdoll's Guild Mage? I, yeah, I guess I don't know what it is. I don't have a Siege Gang Sack tech. I could try to do it now. They're waving my thing. I'm gonna... Try to kill it now. I don't really know what it is. Yeah, now they're just gonna flip it. Yeah, that sucks. God, we're gonna lose the time. I think. I'm gonna just try throwing everything. That's the plan. Like, they don't have attacks here. Are you for reals? Sure. That doesn't give a trample, though. We are gonna lose the time. Let me just fucking kill this thing. I think we, we can do this. We can do the thing. I'm just gonna stack a bunch of things in a second and then like we can recurring nightmare to get the siege game back and it should be in enough time to, cause we have another falcon off hit so. Sure. Yeah, I might not even nightmare. I have 27 seconds. All right, 15 seconds, my gosh. They need to deal with the Falcon Wrath or they're just dead. That's fine. F6. Ah, I'm so nervous! Get in there! Bow. Go, 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 go! Oh gosh, we had three seconds left! We did it for real! God, 
I live for those games. <laughs> They're so good. We have three seconds left! My little gooby heart can't take these matches. <laughs> Molly, it's the most tilting thing, because you're like, this is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm going to lose my opponent. I have like three seconds left. How is that? I have been on the other end of it, and I'm always like, this is stupid. Yeah, that was, that's always like an edge of your seat matches. I love, I, li I live for those matches. They're so good. We haven't timed out in a while. We almost timed out just now, because we were going to win that game. Let's see that happen in Paper Magic. <laughs> Paper Magic never gets that exciting. Um, this hand is fine. Like, if we get Grove of the Burn Willows, this hand's kind of sweet. And we need, like... Yeah, there's, like, there's like really no way to do it, unfortunately. Winning in turns is pretty exciting. Yeah, it is, for sure. I think I want to keep this. It's not the best hand, but we have a good amount of removal, and... We can dirtle until we, like, we have this unlocked if we get another black source, and I don't know. There's just a lot of ways that this could go well. I like having the disfigure. I've been impressed with that card in this cube. <gasps> oh. Stupid. Going for the trophy! Yeah, we're 2-0. I like our deck a lot, actually. Yeah, that's fair. It's the only thing we can't cast. They can certainly play around everything else, though. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba Good draw. Uh, that makes a keep a lot words depending on what our opponent is on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when I end up in turns, usually I start taking super long turns. Everybody does, I think. It's just really, it's just really easy to do that. Will there be another draft after this one? Um, I will start one. I don't know that I'll finish one. Ooh, I like reading the bones. They might counter this, but that's. Nice. Arid Maze and Guild Mage. I don't think I care that much for the Guild Mage. So let me bottom that. And then let's top this one. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, so let's just play Arid Maze. I also think of Read the Bones Duke every time. Every single time. Rakdos Guild Mage is a good excuse to discard Bogard and Hellkite, though. That was one of our sack outlets. Um... Yeah, they can, they have the mana to region that, that's fine. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're right, I'm gonna disfigure it. Sorry, they, we can't Punishing Fire, but we can disfigure it. Let me get Smoldering Marsh. They know about this, though. They just ran it in for no reason. Sure. Kind of want to run out the Siege Gang first and then play the Falkareth. It might be bait. Who knows? It could be bait. I think I'm gonna Siege Gang first. Resolved. Alright, what you got? Hopefully it's something we can Bituminous Blast. Mmm, delicious. They're tapping out. Oh. They're just gonna kill my Siege Gang? Mm, Punishing Fire does... Well, actually, we don't even... Wait, we drew the Ragdos Guildage again? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play Falcon Wrath. And we can send two goblins at that thing, one at them, and one at Galitos. Wow. Siege Gang... Or, sorry, up next list to kill Siege Gang and then just die to the rest of the goblins is, like pretty good turn for us. Their hand must be atrocious against ours. Dude, ev Falkarath is everything I remember and more. I love this card so much. You guys don't understand how much I love this card. I'm glad you talked me into taking it, Molly. I was about to not take it and then it was like, wait, why am I doing this to myself? I should be living my best life. Why not take Falkarath's Aristocrat? <laughs> yes, I love our deck. I think we actually, I think we got there on a sweet deck, finally. I think our first two decks were pretty medium. I'm going to post this one on, on the Twitterverse. Yes, Falkarath is not only has great art, is also a great card. Cosplaying this would be cool. I wonder if anybody has. Let me see. Falkenrath, Aristocrat, Cosp... Oh, what do you know? No one has cosplayed Falkenrath, Aristocrat. Hmm. Maybe it's that Gooby Calling. 
Yeah. I don't see anybody. I see a lot of femme Jaces. Jace is so lame to cosplay. It's difficult because you have to fly. <laughs> it does look like, I mean, she, I know she's flying, but it looks like she's on stilts. I guess that's how you could simulate that. Kind of limits the pool of people. Just a tiny bit. Look at how far we've come, chat. I used to sack my fuck around the aristocrat to her own trigger, and now, now we started from the bottom, and now we're crushing with fuck around the aristocrat. Feels good, man. Uh, let's attack with everybody. I wonder if Tragic Slip is in this cube. I kind of want to pass him just the two minutes blast them. Because mm, Damnation's got to be in this cube. I could alternatively also play Rakdos Guild Mage. Yeah, say Yep, exactly, Molly. Exactly. I'll just play Pia. Pia's fine. And then we have Punishing Fire to go face or kill one of their things or whatever. Ooh, what is this? A counter spell? You're countering me? They're repulsing my Falkrath. Sure. Yeah, taking the four was like pretty bold, I think. I don't think they have a Wrath. They wouldn't have bounced my Falkrath. I guess like Wrath doesn't kill Falkrath, but then it just has haste anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, Languish would get us good. Languish is in the format too. I should keep that in mind. I think they're like a black blue control deck gatekeeper, but I think they also don't have like I think they're flooding. But they're also missing land drops, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm confused. Yes. <laughs> Probably just bear on bikes. Classic bear on bikes. Herborg. Well, I didn't need fixing, but I am fixed now. Oh boy, what is this? Six mana. What could this be? I don't know this cube well enough to actually like predict what this could be. <laughs> Alright. Alright. What are they playing? Pyroclasm didn't look good. Hellion didn't look good. Shard Phoenix didn't look good. Well, Drowsy Obligator might be sweet. Yeah, same, 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 Molly. Same, same. I think Vendetta is going to be kind of bad because it seems like they're a black deck. Shriekmaw at least is a creature that works for the Recurring Nightmare. And they might have targets, so. Apparently, yeah, apparently Jackal Pups want a Pro Tour. <laughs> what is a Jokal Hubs anyway? Ooh, Grim Monolith, the Bugard, and Hellkite? Yeah, I like that. We might actually Grim Monolith into... I guess it doesn't speed us that much for Masticore, but it does speed us quite a bit for Bogard and Hellkite. Mm, just play this tapped. Actually, we'll just play this. You think Jokal Hopes is like a landslide caused by melting snow? Let me look it up. Jokal Hopes. Uh, a type of glacial outburst flood in an Icelandic term that has been adopted in glaciological terminology in many languages. Ooh, we got the Grove of the Burn Willows, nice. Are limited PT wins within the cube list? No, I believe it's only constructed. Sure. They made a Zomberino. Hardcast Hellkite Pyres! I know, I wanted to bring it back with a current nightmare, but we are on the hardcast plan right now. So it costs us, what, five mana to cast this thing? Okay, we'll take some damage from Zomberino. Uh, this kind of sucks, but I think we don't even... I guess we could just Masticore, and then the following turn, since we have nothing else to do, just untap the Monolith. That's better than not playing anything right now. Because they're just on the, like, make a zombie plan. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's do something. I am in to do something. Let's tap you for Masticore. And I'm going to kill the Crypt Raper after they tap out. I do have an end step stop on my end step. Okay. Wait, they didn't? 
Alright, fine. Can remove this now? Oh, yeah, fair, I do get priority first. I guess it doesn't really matter, they can always just respawn. We were never gonna catch the Crib Breaker not making a Zombo. Yeah, so next turn we're on the untapped Grin Monolith plan. And honestly, these zombies just can't get through Mass Decor. We have like a bunch of lands that we can pitch, it doesn't matter. What deck was Crib Breaker in? The Jerry's uh, Zombie deck. All right. That was kind of good beats. Hmm. I do kind of want to play Pia. But I can play Bogart and Hellkite next turn. Okay. Am I going to go to GP Prague? No. No GP Prague for me. I don't really do any of the international GPs too much. It's four, right? I think we're supposed to play Pia. Because I also think they might have a counterspell, and if they do, I want Pia to run into the counterspell, not Bogard and Hellkite. So, let's play Pia. See ya, rabbit! I hope uh, your day was lovely. The one thing that sucks is I can't pump the Thopter, because I would have liked for Thopter to be able to trade with one of these guys. Am I going to GP Providence? Nah, the GPs I'm going to are Denver and... Detroit. Faux shizzle. I am like all booked to go to those. Denver's misleading. I, I'm not booked to go to that. It's a hometown GP, but I will be at that one. <laughs> Dress into see that I have nothing. All right. They're sending with tar pit. Yeah, we're going to be, we're going to have to block with a Zombarino or block one of the Zombarinos. Oh, that's not a bad draw at all. Uh, let's untap. Well, I can do that later because I can just go swamp and then we can disfigure that and then untap Grimolith. Yeah. Yeah. And then next turn, Bogard and Hellkite. Yeah. I think I'm probably chumping with a Doctor. I just feel like in, we're really good shape if we get to play Bogard and Hellkite and I, being at nine is kind of scary. Am I going to GP Atlantis? <laughs> what about the GP in the moon? Good, Erfer. Um, we are playing for the trophy this time. Let's let them attack. Let's disfigure this thing. Cool. I think I am chumping. Maybe that's just me being chicken shit. I take two go to seven and then I play Bogart and Hellkite. Maybe, maybe I don't block. I'm just being chicken shit. I'm being chicken shit. Let's not block. I'm not gonna block. Okay. I know, that was no attack, no blocks. I just was so sure that I was gonna block with it. Okay. Bug out of them! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, might as well play Mountain. They are F6, nice. Swing. Bam, look at us getting in there with our Thopter that we didn't chump the last turn. I really want us to draw Punishing Fire. We have the Grove of the Burn Willows. He said, do all the videos go on YouTube? I never caught the stream live, but I wanted... Um, not all the videos end up on YouTube, Lord. Some of them do. A lot of them do. Yeah, you go, little Thopter. You got this. Okay. That was not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, jeez. Sure, that's fine. I know. Bouncing back the Bogardian Hellcat, I think, is not where my opponent wants to be. But I am just gonna play, um, Siege Gang now. You said, Gabby used to have a policy of only three old drops on YouTube, but then there was a lack of content on the channel. So mean. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm going to be working with an editor nowadays. Um, I think we're going to get started with like today's draft, actually. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna tick down for sure. Ooh, Eldrazi. We do get in for this turn. We put him down to five. And then Bogard and Hellkite can just kill her. <laughs> Didn't Milby fire someone like I know you can we're so unlucky. I'm gonna take Eldrazi Obligator. Like otherwise we were just gonna untap Grin Monolith. Saying you're a vampire. That's fine, we can sudden death that thing. Oh, hello. Kill them. Yeah, putting them to five with Kalkite is really nice. Yeah, we could just plus. Plus this bad boy. Attack. Can almost kill them. I'm probably just gonna Grim Monolith. I don't have Lethal Train, no. Oh man, you're right. Sudden death, pod, hit war three, put it on a drowsy obligator pod. Yeah, you're right, we did have lethal. On if they don't block, they're still dead. They're gonna block it. Oh wow. Alright. Works for me. Ba, ba, ba. Wow, I, I did not think. <laughs> I tried to look for lethal too and I didn't find it. <laughs> that is more tilting for them. I mean, I I think they're supposed to block in that spot, honestly. What is that thing what is that thing gonna do anyway? It's not gonna do that much better.